Well, it's still September 11th, um, and I like to share just a little moment of what happened on, I guess, 23 years ago. I was living in New York City and had the uh, wild experience of watching the towers fall uh, very close to them. I was shooting for Target in Soho. I'll never forget coming out of the subway and a homeless person saying that that the sky is falling um, in not so many words but that the world was ending and I looked up and the first plane had just gone in and by the time I walked to the studio where we were filming and went into the elevator the second plane had gone in and I always carried this little recording device with me um, and I was filming out the window of our huge studio, and we watched the towers fall as a, a small group of us, maybe eight or nine. And the fire marshals came in and evacuated our building because the debris was coming, and there was a you know big plume of dust and smoke coming out. Um, I'll never forget the feeling of being in New York at that time and walking out the door. I, there's, I had to get home to Queens as I walked up to meet Jenny in Central Park, um, my cousin's wife, um, and then we were going to walk across the bridge and I heard 1010 winds on the radio and they said there was more planes coming in and whew, I just, ne I'll never forget getting home, looking out the window where the towers once stood and being a part of New York City going through such a crazy time and what stands out to me is how much the city united and how much people came together to support one another. And, you know, our country's so divided right now. And, you know, something like that bringing us together in New York City, standing strong and people taking care of one another and forgetting about p political sides for a moment to sort of do what was best for the nation and for each other, for our neighbor, and how um, there was a lot of love in New York City at that time. And uh, it was the first strike, and then uh, after the power outage on the East Coast, and I had just, we had just had Aus uh, Oliver, <laughs> who's now 21. Um, he's a little baby. And uh, then I got plastered with mud from a truck, and that was strike three, and then we sold our property and moved to California, which really changed my life. But this day always comes around, and I remember the firefighters and all the people lost that day in this country, how it, uh, how it was never the same after that. But I'm, I'm hopeful that the core of how this country can come together with love um, always stands out. So... That's my 9-11 story, and my prayer is that we can somehow come together in the middle <laughs> and maybe, maybe love one another a little bit.